Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is uh, Diana, and this is incredible.
Okay, so I think that they came out great. I love how it looks. Both sides. I had I did a little bit of trimming on both sides to match the size and to match and to clean it up, you know. Um there you go. So as you can tell, I did a final coat on it. But that was the easiest part. Like, all you got to do is, like, do a mix and then leave it overnight. I mean, pour it on and leave it overnight. I'm not sure um, if you can see, but it's so, so shiny. It's beautiful. I, I was looking forward to this side because I love blue. But I didn't like so much the layout. And I did it. I had this one was super long for some reason. I had to cut it so much and it looks awkward so I didn't like how that came out and then this somehow was glued to something and I must have like yanked it and all that stuff so it's going to be the back inside so this is how it's going to be like this my favorite color this year is pink I mean yellow and I'm going to have green on the outside um so to bring in the purple I'm going to use it for the spine and I've seen this many times done before um, I feel like I have um, I don't know if I um, if there's a name to it but pretty much you're you're gluing two of them together by um, I've seen it done I think with washi tape and fabric and all that stuff but um, so what I'm going to do is I want to do, for example, these two. And I'm going to grab a strip. Let's go with this one. Um, like this. And because I want this color to show both on the spine and on the inside, I'm going to do this. There you go. Sort of like that. If I got to cover when I get to the inside, then I can cover it. But for me, well, I feel that that would look super cool. And it would show on my spine as well. So there you go. Um, I'll probably work from the inside out. Maybe. Not sure. But I think, actually, I think that might be... Like that. And then I can do two of these right down. To make it sort of not so um because if i do just one these two pages will probably be discombobulated so i'm gonna try to do two like this like that and work my way up and down maybe cover it a little bit yeah like that sort of um,
Okay, guys, so here it goes. I love how it finished. Um, it feels really smooth. This top coat is amazing. Um, now, you guys saw in the video, I changed um, companies, not companies, sorry, product. And I'm so glad I finished off with this because it turned out to be such a good product. This one was not Hobby Lobby, was um, Blix. If you are in San Diego, in California, there's a Blix there. I don't know if there's another company, but I know you can order online. I don't know where other stores you can order this, but man, I love, love this. If you ever want to do um, this high gloss coating, man, I totally recommend this. It's so easy to use. Um, and... It doesn't finish tacky at all. It's just, I really, really love this product. Um, the It gives a little bit of weight, which I super, super loved. Um, it gives it stability. I loved the ends of it. I was hoping to get more thicker than this so you could see like colors and stuff. But that turned out all right. See how I made the cup front cover thicker than the back cover. Because I, when I, I was finished with this one, I was thinking that um i was gonna really enjoy it and like see colors and, lay and layers and i went through all that process and you can't see jack squat so um i just went with le less layers the next time um i really enjoyed um the fact that most of this well the whole book is recyclable or like materials that i have you know i don't have to purchase um but except the coating and that's like expensive part right but thanks to uh, my subscribers i mean not my subscribers my patrons um i'm able to do some some kind of these things like that and you know but you don't have to do this top coating you can just do a lot of um glue or silicone or maybe just like you know what you could also use packing tape and i think it would look just as good um i just i just bought this material i mean this uh, product so i wanted to try it out and i'm so glad i did but um it took me a long time because i as you guys saw i would put some layers and then um um put do the epoxy and then uh the coating and then do more and then it was just it took me such longer time than it should have so therefore packing tape might have been a better answer for me but I thought about that like three quarters of the way. And I was just like ah, deep in it already. So I decided to finish it. I'm glad I did. I'm glad. I'm really glad I did. I love it. Um, I'm so happy about it. You know, at the end of the day, these covers can be reused for multi-purposes. I could always cut the insert out and just reuse the covers. And, um, you know, I can screw it. Um, the eyelid would probably not work because this is super thick. This is did ended up being like about a quarter inch, maybe even more. And you know the eyelids are not that deep unless I buy the leather binder ones or rivets. I think that's the only way it would you help. Um, I was thinking of using uh, clear acetate to do the binding, but um, I'm really glad I didn't. I really enjoy how this looks because i feel that if i would have put like a covering on it you can't really see the depthness and there's so many layers to this that i don't know i really enjoyed like all all of the feel of this and you know the fact that i can lay it flat oh man it's it's just awesome because you know the purpose for this book is to practice or um do pop-ups i love pop-ups and I've always wanted to have a book just that focuses on that, just on pop-ups. And I feel like this is going to be a good book for that purpose, just because it's a thicker um, media, you know, thicker paper. And also it um, it lays flat, you know, it's not an intricate um, spine like I always do. And this one lays 100% flat. Um, and I really, really loved it. I hope you guys like it. I, if you guys do something like this, let me know. I do have Facebook and Instagram. Share it with me. Tag me on your product projects. And um, until next time, guys, stay uh, busy. Stay crafting. Um, you know, if you're not inspired, just 
glue stuff together. You know, I always like, my daughter likes to like craft. I tell her, just start by grabbing two pieces of something and glue them together and then, or painting something. And she ends up doing this huge, big old mess. And I said, you see how one thing led to another? Just, you know, journey of, of a thousand miles begins with one single step. So always remember that, you know, a lot of the times I don't feel, you know, so motivated, but you know, just start one step at a time and, and I'm sure you guys can do it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for uh, coming to this space, this channel. Um, thank you for coming and visiting um, me in this project. Until next time, guys. Love, love you guys. Stay crafty. And uh, until next time, bye.